today is February, there's a bunch of candidates in. Like, what are the determining factors for who you support? Can they beat Trump? Uh, can they win? I want somebody whose views I agree with, a center-left candidate, not a far-left candidate. No, I'm going to disagree. I don't really care whether the candidate agrees with me. I would even vote for some of them that I disagree with pretty significantly if I thought they could beat Donald Trump. I think there's a half a dozen that are going to beat Trump because I do think Trump is so vulnerable. I'm focused on A, who I like and respect, and B, who I think is going to prevail in the primary. And I think prevailing in the primaries is much harder to game out because this is the first time in our political career possible exception of 2004 that you've had a wide open field. I want to do a lightning round. I just want to go around the table really quickly on a couple candidates. Elizabeth Warren. I think Elizabeth Warren has the name recognition. I think she can do well in some of the early states. Native American thing is like a fatal flaw or survivable? It's survivable, but you know, she had a bad rollout. Survivable long as she doesn't continue to feed into the negative narrative. But it goes to her authenticity and authenticity is going to be a big factor. Kamala Harris. Kamala's a rock star. She's a complete package. She's aspirational, and that's what I think people want. She's got real presence. She's got leadership. She's got experience. When you get down to it, there's going to be a Kamala, there's going to be a progressive, and there's going to be the centrist, and then who fights it out from there. The person who looms over everything, better or work. The electricity around this guy is, you know, nothing I've seen since 2007. God. He's the only but one that took President Trump off the news cycle. There was more excitement around him in this country than anyone we've seen, including President Trump for the Republican side. There is an argument in the party, as you know, that if Bernie Sanders had been the nominee in 2016, he would have won. And I understand yeah. the argument that someone from the farther left part of the party would bring a better turnout and could theoretically be more likely to win. Yep. But at the end of the day, I still think this is a centrist country. OK. Whose America would you rather live in right now, President Trump or President Sanders? I'd rather go to Bermuda. <laughs> <laughs>